much larger than you might think, and the stars are even farther away than you can imagine. Over the next few weeks, we're going to venture through the solar system and beyond, and discover that space is even bigger than you thought. After we're done, you'll understand that the Earth orbits the Sun, and how far away the Sun, Moon, planets, and stars actually are from our home planet Earth. Are you ready, girls? Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Kayla Roloffs and I am the Youth Outreach Manager at Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us today. Um, today we are going to be talking about outer space. But before we get started, I would love to start with the Girl Scout promise and law. So if I could have everybody raise their right hand with their three fingers in the air and repeat after me. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. All right, juniors, I hope everybody is doing well today and is excited to learn a little bit more about outer space. For today's activity, we are going to be showing our years in pictures. So for supplies, you should just have the stuff lying around your house. All you'll need is a couple sheets of blank paper. Um, you're gonna need one page for however old you are. So if you're 10 years old, you're gonna need 10 pages in your book plus a couple extra. So you'll need that and then you'll also need some way to bind your book. It can be a stapler if you prefer or you could do a hole punch and ribbon to tie it together. And then you're gonna just need art supplies. So you can use markers or colored pencils or crayons, whatever you like to decorate. Or you could use paint or whatever you prefer. So before we get started on our book, we are going to explore the way that the Earth moves around the sun. Do you know what that movement is called? Did anybody guess orbit? The Earth orbits or moves around the sun. Now, does anyone know how long that it takes? How about 365 days? That's one full year to orbit the sun. So how many trips have you made around the sun? For example, if you are 10 years old, that would mean you've made 10 trips around the sun. Today, we are going to make a scrapbook of all of the trips that you've taken around the sun. So you're gonna think about each year of your life and something important that's happened. And then we're going to put those into our book. So what kind of memorable things have you done? You could have maybe met your best friend or maybe you found your favorite teacher in school. Um, did you ever get a pet? Uh, you can be creative, whatever fits in with what you've done. You can't be wrong. This is the book that I made for myself. I decided to use colored pencils and staples just because that's what I had lying around my house, but you can use whatever fits you the best. When I made my book, I didn't do one for every year that I've gone around the sun just because that would be a lot of years, but I picked some highlights and when I was two years old, my baby brother was born. So that was pretty important. Um, when I was seven years old, we took a family trip to Disney World. Um, when I was 12, I got my first pet. It was a guinea pig named Bumper. And that's what I put in my book so far. I know I have a lot of other years that I could add, but we can work on that later. Hey girls, while you work on your year in picture book, I'm gonna tell you a few other exciting things about circling the sun. Did you know that your age is actually based on the number of orbits you've taken around the sun? But each planet is a different distance from the sun and they all orbit at different speeds. That's right, if you were born on Mars, 
you would be a different age than you are here on Earth. Isn't that interesting? I'm going to tell you a story about the sun. There was once a forest where all the animals played happily and contentedly together, so much so that the sun noticed them and wanted to join in. The animals told the sun he could play with them, but when the sun left his place in the sky and came down to the forest, none of the animals could stand the heat and they all went running to hide. The sun went back up into the clouds feeling terribly sad. So sad that no longer did he want to come out every day and light up the world. Without the sun, life was beginning to run down, the lovely forest and its animals included. Knowing what the problem was, the animals had a meeting to think of ways to cheer the sun up. Someone suggested that they play with the sun at night when he no longer shone. That would avoid the heat of his rays. So that's what they did. All the animals had to make a great effort to rest during the day so that they could play at night. But they so wanted to cheer up the sun that all the animals managed it. Soon the sun, and with it happiness, returned to the forest and the rest of the world. Wasn't that a great story? It's always nice when we can do things to make others feel better. Today's activity was just a small sample of the years that you girls get to travel around the sun. So during the next week, what I would love for you to do is to maybe take some time and fill out some future pages in your scrapbook. So what are some goals that you might have? Maybe it could be finishing high school or starting your dream job. Um, think about what you would like to do in your future and add those pages as well. So now that we're wrapping up our project for today, what I would love for you to do is to share your book with someone else. It could be another adult in your home, or maybe you could share it during a video chat with other family or friends. Just someone to see the cool work that you've done today in Girl Scouts. I hope that you join us again next week where we're going to be exploring our solar system in our house. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you guys later. Bye girls, we'll see you again next week.